For many years, we've had sort of a very relaxed view about taking opioids and that the risk of chronic use is really, really small. Almost half of new moms are getting an opioid prescription after giving birth. And a new Vanderbilt study finds these prescriptions could lead to chronic opioid use for thousands of women in Tennessee. Really interesting news here. News 4's Brittany Waters spoke with one of the study's lead authors. Brittany, she said she was surprised by these results. Tom and Lauren, she told me she thought that these chronic use would come from more of a surgical procedure like a C-section, but she said, according to this study, it doesn't seem to be so much how the baby is delivered, but the prescribing of these drugs. More than 100,000 women enrolled in Tennessee Medicaid were examined to see their opioid use after childbirth. I have met people who said, you know, the inciting event was my C-section, and from there I developed this dependency on, on opioids. Dr. Sarah Osmondson says for the study, they considered chronic opioid use, a woman who filled a prescription every 45 days continuously following delivery. Women who received like the second prescription following delivery were at much higher risk for chronic use following childbirth. And that was regardless of whether you had a C-section or a vaginal delivery. Osmondson says the study revealed half of new moms received an opioid prescription at discharge. And although a majority won't develop chronic use, they predict 21,000 women a year in Tennessee could. And I think it's really important for women to understand to take the least amount that they need. Osmondson says ibuprofen and Motrin are great alternatives and can be used to help stop the use of opioids after the first week. I don't know that the answer is no prescribing or two pills, but there's a big difference between five pills and 30 pills. Something they will continue to research in future studies. And a lot of people may not know this, but you can actually return any unused medication here to the Vanderbilt Pharmacy. There are a number of take back locations for these opioid drugs around Tennessee and Nashville. We have a list of them on the News 4 app. Tom I, and Lauren. Eye popping numbers there, Brittany. Thanks for that live report.